Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on rationalising the denominator of a fraction where the denominator is a single third. Now what do I mean by rationalising the denominator? Well, a rational number is anything that could be expressed as a fraction. So for example, 0.3 recurring, that is rational because it could be expressed as a fraction involving whole numbers. That's just a third, for example. But thirds are not rational because they cannot be expressed as a fraction. So root 2, for example, cannot be expressed as something over something, where these are both whole numbers. So root 2 is known as irrational because it can't be expressed as a fraction. Now to rationalise something means to turn it from an irrational number to a rational number. So to turn it into something that could be expressed as a whole number or a fraction. So it basically means, in layman's terms, to get rid of the square roots in the denominator if we want to rationalise the denominator. Now don't worry too much about why we do this. I did explore that in my longer exam skills video on thirds. But let's just look at the method. If we have 3 root 5 and we want to get rid of the third in the denominator so it's not a third anymore, then the trick is to multiply top and bottom by root 5. Now remember with fractions, as long as you multiply top and bottom by the same thing, it's not going to change the value of the fraction, is it? For example, if I had 2 thirds and I multiplied top and bottom by 4, that gives me 8 over 12, which is the same as 2 thirds. Now, the reason this is a good idea is because when I do the root 5 times the root 5 at the bottom, square root of 5 times the square root of 5 is the square root of 25, and the square root of 25 is just 5. Remember, when you times a third by itself, that gets rid of the square root. So root 5 times root 5 is just 5. And look, this is no longer a third. So we've turned it from an irrational thing, i.e. a third, to a rational thing, because that could be expressed as a fraction. 5 is just, well, 5 over 1, so it's rational. And 3 times root 5 is 3 root 5. So that now is in the required form where we've rationalised the denominator. What about the second one? In this one, we're going to be able to simplify. So we just multiply top and bottom of that fraction by whatever we have at the bottom. So we've got root 2 here, so we multiply top and bottom by root 2. Now the top, 10 times root 2 is just 10 root 2. And then the bottom, root 2 times root 2, is just 2. Now this one we can simplify, because remember in our video on dividing thirds, we first divide any non-thirds, and then we divide any thirds. So the non-thirds are the things without the square roots, the 10 the 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. And then we divide the thirds. Well, we've only got that root to the top. That just remains as root 2. And that is the final answer. So if you were to type that into a calculator, it would actually rationalise it for you, and you would get that answer there. 